everyone, Xandros here, along with the very familiar yet unfamiliar face. You can do this part. I'm Faye the Wanderer. See, here's where we are now. It's been a while since I've been on screen since uh, episode, what, three of your Stardew Valley play? It's been a while, yeah. yeah. And, and I uh, haven't been on screen uh, since... Oh, is it Real Real Black Panther or Event think in Infinity War? So. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. How long? How long has it been? Six months. You're in the making gender? me think. <laughs> Seven months, eight months. It's been a while since my yeah. Because I was like, mm, what April last year? I, yeah, June ish, something like that. If it was April, it, it's whatever. Like... It's whatever a timestamp is as far as like the date stamp on the video. You can figure that out. You can math. I believe in you all. <laughs> so. Today we're here to do something a little bit different, a little stupid. We're going to be doing a little challenge for ourselves. And we're calling this challenge Dev Roulette. We're going to take some of these nice polyhedral dice. Ah, uh, I wish I was playing D&D. &D. But we're going to do something a little different, or at least I can roll today. This whole video is just an excuse so you can roll dice, because we were supposed to play D&D &D today. And... It kind of is. That's also because it was a random idea I had last night at work. So I get my randomest ideas at work when I'm by myself and my own thoughts with a bunch of machines going off around me. I get my best random thoughts when I'm in the shower. Better than on the toilet. Uh, There's good ones there, too. That's where the shit ones come from. You say my ideas are shit. No, I'm saying they're just shit ideas, because you're taking a shit having that idea. I mean, it's hard to do it while you're taking a piss. It's quick and done. You don't have time to sit and contemplate it. It takes me a little bit longer to pee now, so... Hmm. Anyway, point is, we're going to be going through. we got a nice little list here. Each of these dies represent a separate portion of a game development cycle. Rather, this love is six-sided die right here, bam, mostly like burnt orange, will represent what platform it goes on. We have six sides here, one through six. One through five are going to be specific uh, platforms, with number six being a uh, multi-platform. So PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, PC, and mobile. <laughs> the next one is our genre. We have a nice 20-sided die here, with number 20 being a double genre, so we'd have to roll this twice and figure out which two genres we get together. But we have a nice 19 here, not counting our number 20 spot, so we, ha we have a lot of interesting potential on that alone. Next, we have our 12-sided die. It's the green right here is our setting, so stuff like modern day, cyberpunk or steampunk. Uh, it's kind of the theme of the game overall, you know. Or... I was going to say setting more than theme. Right, you know, it's in that thing, because the theme can be anything. It's, true, you know, true, true. conspiracy theory or uh, cor uh, corrupt corporations, stuff like that. Right. Whereas this is more of just, Who done it? where is this happening? How is this, you know, how is the world around you going to look and feel, if it does at all? Because if we get a 12, you get a pick, and you can choose to not have any setting at all. That could prove interesting. But it's a random. You're not giving in the void. Yep, that's how it goes. <laughs> and our last one, this lovely red, kind of clear see-through. What would you call it? Crystal? Trans translucent. Trans translucent, yep. If you can see, it's kind of hard from here. Lighting's not that bright. We have light issue right now. My main light we used to use sort of died, and I don't know enough to rewire it. Yeah. But this is our roadmap die. And for some of you out there that keep track of the gaming industry, roadmap is a dirty word for how much money we're going to wring out of people. And I figured that'd be fun. So we have four here. It's a way of screwing with me. It is. It is. She's really anti-corporate. And I am in a lot of ways. Though there are at least two options on here that I like. <laughs> but we'll show you those when they come up and if I don't throw it off the table. That's the one right away for me in the post thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, those are going to be our four die setting up our genre, platform setting, roadmap, and see what we come up with. But here's the catch. We have one minute to pitch it. We're going to time it. So we'll roll what we get, take a minute to kind of rack our brains individually, and then the person will spit it out. And you can tell us down below, which one do you think you'd pick up if you were a publisher? If you're saying, hey, we're pitching for your specific console, or we're doing multi-platform. Let's say you have the choice. What would you pick of what we pitched today? I'm excited to see what we're going to get. And no, we're not sponsored by Burger King. You I'm did just... that with the label facing the camera, too. Well, that's because that's where the straw was at. So... He's a show. I don't want Burger King paying me. Really? You wouldn't take you wouldn't take money from Burger King? Not really. Huh. The, food, the food's mediocre. Ouch. I, I eat their chicken. That's about it. I don't like their burgers that much. I'm not for charbroiled. You know, I'll, I'll give you their grilled chicken is really good though. It, like I said, I like chicken. Oh, yeah. I just don't like I don't like their. See, I'm, I'm eating really healthy now because I've lost a hundred pounds since last time they saw me. And congratulations on that. Hope everyone else is uh, in, you know joining me on that. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I've gained it. 
so yeah, actually, I, I so it's okay. Don't eat nearly as much red meat as I did before. Doing more turkey, more chicken. Or, or trying to avoid breading when I can. I like you bread. Know. Yeah, I, I'm a like very bread. I'm a very, I'm a very bread potato kind of guy. Right. Can't really help it. Let's go, Gar. But that's the setup for today's little video of Dev Roulette, which is the working title we're going with on this, since <laughs> we're the developers pitching the ideas. So let's see how this works. How do you want to decide who goes first? Uh, I got an idea. Even, even odd. The D20? Even odd. Even odd? All right. Do you want the odd or the even? I want to do the even. I am odd. So oh, that means go. I get to start. There you go. So I get to see the torture I deal with first. So let's see what our first thing is going to be. We're going to roll an order of platform, genre, setting, roadmap. In that order. So let's start with uh, platform. <laughs> I will be doing it for the Xbox One. The genre will be... Let's see... Sports, oh boy! Sports X game on the Xbox, on the Xbox One. One. So, Never heard that before. So your EA <laughs> or two K? Two K, yeah. yeah, even better. The setting, well, two K is actually. prehistoric. A prehistoric sports game. Yes. And let's see what the roadmap's yes. gonna be. Freemium pay to play. Okay, so I have to come up with a sports game <laughs> that is set in a prehistoric setting. <laughs> For the Xbox One, that is a freemium or pay-to-play style. Oh, boy. Where'd my phone go? Your, my phone's right here. I don't know where yours is. I lost my phone. Is that in a room? We'll find... No, we're going to go Drop it on the floor when you knock shit around earlier? You know, maybe I did. We'll find it later. We'll find it later. Yeah. Cool. All right. We'll call it later and see what we'll I'll let you do. The, I'll let you start the timer on that one. Hi, right, sir. Right, let, let, me, me, let me think a let minute. Right, cause, yeah, the one minute's your, just your pitch. Prehistoric time. Prehistoric sports game. All right. Prehistoric. For what console? The Xbox One. Xbox One, prehistoric. Freemium. Freemium or pay to play, game. either one. Mm. What constitutes pay to play? That's subscription like... service. Okay, yeah, subscription uh, services are loot boxes, right? It can also be pay to win. So, like, stuff that's tied to progression. Freemium. Oh, yeah. The, the, there's a reason that's number one. That's the one you don't want. Right. All right, let me think here. Going for. He's thinking. I am. Just thinking hard. God, this is weird. More than likely, he's stuck on trying to figure out a prehistoric sport. Not necessarily. Chicken kicking, 2018. All right, I think I got something. Not necessarily great, but I might have something. I don't have a name. Are you ready to pitch? I'm ready to pitch a game idea with no title. All right, begin your pitch in three, two, and one. Now imagine. You're in the prehistoric era. Not only that, you're in the area of the Cretaceous period. You're going around surrounded by dinosaurs, and they have one urge, and one urge only. Football. And I don't mean football in the American sense. I'm talking soccer. Real so football. We're talking real football, except it's going to be with tails. So you have different kinds of dinosaurs. You have an herbivore team, a carnivore team, an in-between kind of idea. Maybe it's mixed, because you never know. What kind of combination you're gonna get? Let's have a team of uh, T-Rex style, Cretaceous era. Thirty seconds. Uh, going up and using their tails, bam, to go against the Triceratops team. You don't want them head butting because, frankly, you could deflate the ball. However, the ball is gonna be hard. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be a rock. <laughs> Who are you gonna score higher? It's prehistoric soccer to the extreme. Fifteen and seconds. And you have to buy new teams as they come out, or you can get better balls to give you some uh, advantage in the game. All right, and here you have five seconds left. I, I, I relinquish my time. That was weird. <laughs> Prehistoric <laughs> stone ball. I like it. <laughs> Cretaceous period dinosaur soccer. It's Rocket League meets, meets art. Go out and tame your team. <laughs> no. <laughs> Through loot boxes. <laughs> no. That could be your uniforms. <laughs> All right, so what do I roll first? Start. D6. D6. Let's see where its platform is going to be. That was a weird one. All right. I'm, de I'm developing PS4 for the PlayStation or... 4. Okay. All right. What's next? 20. D20. Ooh. My genre is action adventure. action adventure. Ooh. All right. In the alternate, alternate history setting. All right. <laughs> Same thing I had. And it's going to be a freemium pay to play game. Either or. Either or. Alright, so. Excuse me. PlayStation, PlayStation 4 Action, Action Adventure, Adventure Alternate History with a lot of microtransactions. Or a subscription. Your choice. Or a subscription model. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'll give you time. Don't worry. 
You don't have to come up with a title if you don't have one. I, no, I, I had no, nothing no, no. on that. If I can come up with one, cool. But there was nothing I would come up with for, you know, Cretaceous Soccer. <laughs> Cretaceous Soccer. <laughs> like, you were I love Cretaceous Soccer. The concept's interesting, but like I had, a, I had like a minute to pitch <laughs> that weird-ass idea. How to do it without like severely being offensive. Things spoken here don't actually represent our actual views as much as just trying to come up with an idea, just in case you get offended. I mean, I don't frankly care, because I, you're, you, you have the right to be offended. You don't have the right to not be offended. That's just the way the world works. I'm offended by a lot of things, but I can't do much about some of them. Otherwise, Mitch McConnell wouldn't be in office. Near to the turtle would be soup. Eh. But I see Auntie. He'd make a great coaster. Just a shell right there, boom. Nice little, this little nice little like sample thing for when you're dipping, like, trying out sauces out in soups. There you go, little 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 faux ladle. Do you think you got a decent enough idea to pitch for a, for a solid minute? God or no, a minute or less, because you can you can relinquish the rest of your time. Like I had five like seven seconds. I was like, you did, you did, you did. There's nothing I could do beyond that. <laughs> oh God. It's horrible. It is. Cool. This will be interesting. It's horrible. You ready? <laughs> it's awful. Why did my brain go here? I don't like it. I don't want to play anymore. You got to play. I don't want to play anymore. I had dinosaurs playing soccer. Yeah, well. With I'm... a freemium pay to play setting on an Xbox One. And for some reason that doesn't sound like the biggest stretch. <laughs> Let's be fair. That sounds like something you would see on an Xbox One from some third party. Ready? Ready. All right, we got one minute. Let's let's hear phase. Apparently, really offensive <laughs> alternate history Xbox One game action adventure. Ready, set, start. Coming soon to a PlayStation Four near you. Enter a world Sorry, in which. <laughs> Enter a world in, in in which the Nazis won World War Two. Take your own take your own personal Nazi out on a on a worldwide adventure across the world, using our using our loot box power-up system <laughs> to defeat other Nazis in the world. Is this Fallout 76? Fall, yeah, imagine Fallout 76 with Nazis. We don't have to Bethesda exists. Power up your favorite PewDiePie. I'm like, oh. Ben Shapiro. Oh, that's not fair. PewDiePie's not a Nazi. No, he's not a Nazi. was a Jew. <laughs> it's terrible. Hey, right wing on ideology. If it looks like a Nazi, smells like a Nazi, chances are... Zay Kyle. Uh, <laughs> he won you 15 seconds. Compete against your fr your friends and, and random people you find on the internet because it's the way things are done this w this way through our exclusive power up options. Five dollar you know, a five dollar pack gets you all the super serum you need to make your own super powered evil Nazi guy. <laughs> Pre order now. <laughs> World Reich. <laughs> God damn, that was good. I'm glad you're amused. It's like as much as I don't like Ben Shapiro, it was he's not either, a Nazi. It was either that or the Civil War. I'm just like, so no. what's worse, Nazis or Confederate war heroes? There's not that much of a difference to a certain extent. Uh, considering one America, enslaved no. and beat, the other one killed and imprisoned. But we do that too. So I feel like I've just lost all my credibility online now. Nah. This is a thought experiment kind of game. Well, kind that I have to I have to admit that as soon as it came up freemium, my 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 went straight to as evil as you can get. Like, yep, <laughs> you certainly did. Nazis. This would definitely be published by EA. Oh yeah, 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 this is definitely an EA title. Oh boy. Although I'm not that pleased with Activision these days, so it could have. They don't exist anymore. Blizzard Activision. Yeah, Activision still... Blizzard is not the way yeah. it goes. I don't really care. I don't care. Either way, they're slowly eating my favorite franchise to death, and it yeah. kills me. Yeah. All right. Oh, roll. Here we go. Ooh, it's gonna be Xbox One again because of fucking course. He hates that console. I don't know why. It's just not as good. I'm still prejudiced against their whole like we're gonna have always online DRM and you can't change it. Oh, if you don't want the other option, so it's called a 360. And that's why you never got my business after the 360, motherfuckers. Uh, this one's gonna be 
a horror game on the Xbox One setting. Oh, this will be interesting. Modern day horror. Okay. It's the E3 reveal for the Xbox One. With free DLC updates. Ooh. Ooh, okay. 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 All, right, all, right, all right. Let all right. me know when you're ready. Give me a minute. My finger is on the clock. Here we go. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. I'm going to see if I can pitch this. All right, let me know. Let me know when you're ready to start the timer. Ready when you are, sir. All right, this is gonna be something not very Xbox One, but we'll try it. Starting the timer in three, two, and one. Imagine the zombie outbreak has happened. You, a teacher, and five of your students are trapped inside. You must find your way out to the nearest military base. You have a choice. You have several choices. But will those choices result in all of you living, some of you dying, or not one of you making it out alive? In this series, you are going to be able to take this team, make it so their decisions left, right, take certain items, leave certain items. Will you leave for people behind, or will you try to save as many as you can? Can you make it to the other side? Can you make it to where seconds. you get off the bombs? Because that's the only way to cure it. You can nuke it from orbit. The free DLC coming along, this new characters get added in to where you have more people to save, or even a second scenario. All free DLC free for you because well the xbox one doesn't have this kind of stuff normally this is kind of a visual novel setting so hey why not give you some more stuff more options for free on the xbox one coming to game pass soon all right you have five seconds left i'm getting good this under a minute are, crap yeah. that was good so to be fair i keep getting weird ones you do you do jesus christ i had to make it kind of a visual novel like multi-choice kind of like you telltale, know, kind of telltale but so. telltale are visual novels yeah yeah they really yeah they do play the kind of visual they're, novel, they're yeah. very much you know choose your adventure yeah, the little QT thing. It's still, yeah, it's still yeah. very much a visual novel, sort yeah. of. So, yeah. All right. It's kind of Walking Dead with new bonds. Ooh, multi platform. So, which platforms are you picking? You can pick, you can pick as many as you want. How about we find out what the rest of it is and then I go for. Nope. All right. Gotta pick. All right. We're going to go with PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Okay. So, the main big three that aren't Switch. Got it. Yep. Because fuck mobile. <laughs> Oh, 19. JRPG. Uh, see, now we're in my wheelhouse. Now we're we in my wheelhouse. Multi-platform art, art JRPG. Uh, Pre-industrial JRPG. Interesting. Okay. And uh, your road map, man. And you are having a season pass. Ooh. So, yeah. New expansions. New story lines. That kind of thing. Fun. I and like not it. free. Yep, yep, gotta pay for here's, it. Here's the question. Do you have to think about, will it be one season pass or multiple season passes? Because that's a thing now for some reason. High Dead or Alive 6 and your $90 season pass one. Really? Oh, yeah. Like $96, $98 for mostly costumes and two characters. Okay, then. Yeah, I wasn't joking when I said multiple. <laughs> Good God. It's, I, I mostly play indie games, so it's kind of like... I like Dead or Alive. Problem is, I'm not paying that much for any of it, for like titty jiggling costumes. Right. Yeah. Again, I like my animated titties, fine enough, but not for ninety fucking dollars. Well, that above fan, the sixty dollar game. Fan service just isn't. isn't not for ninety dollars, no. I will say I did find Extreme Beach Volleyball fun, but that was just because you're watching the other balls, not the ones right there in the chest. Well, that it was fun, kind of learning what each girl wanted, and like trying to become friends with Christy so she could beat up the other, the other. Uh, we I never played the game. Discussion, didn't we? Yep, we did, and I never played the game. So what's mm. that say about you? I have never played the beach volleyball games. You have weirder friends besides me, is the point I think. Yeah, yeah, because it was—I didn't own the game. It was like my best friend at the time, Dave, that we used to play DDR and stuff together. DDR, I get. He's kind of a freaky guy, though. I can see him totally happy for the, for the boob jiggles. Yeah, yeah. When I think about, it. oh, was I happily playing his jerk off game? Probably. Yeah. I'm sure you didn't do it on the controller. Probably. <laughs> Focus on your game. Right, right, right. You know. Um, <laughs> so, a JRPG for PC, PS4, and Xbox, Xbox One. One. And pre-industrial pre -industrial. setting. With season pass. Alright, so we're, t so we're talking the lead-up to the, to the Industrial Revolution. So, you don't quite got guns. Well, you do, but not. not you don't really have. You got, you got muskets if you got anything, or you're a little bit before that. So it's probably not quite as far back as Renaissance or oh. medieval era. So we're not talking like swords and sorcery so much. As we're 1800s? talking, 
Yeah, about 1800s. Some steam engine stuff. Yeah, yeah, some steam engines. You probably got, yeah, I guess some muskets, maybe even. Le- so, like, late uh, Revolutionary War period, early 1800s, maybe? Yeah, maybe even flintlocks, because I believe those were still handmade. They had they had early revolvers that yeah, really yeah. were, like, four or six-shot ones. Hmm. I, I know exactly what to do in this era. I know exactly what to play in this era for All JRPG. Right. All right, man. I got it. I got it. I think I'm ready to roll. All right, let me get uh, get this back out because we'll probably have to Google later. More than likely. Yep. Google it back. And I will bring up the timer. Are we ready? All right, give me a countdown. A three, a two, a skilly dilly do. Go. Coming soon to Xbox One, PS4, and PC, because naturally. A JRPG set on the high seas. We're going back to the days of pirate lore. You gather your you you gather your spunky cast of renegades, wannabe pirates, and experienced pirateers, and go out uh, go out to take on the evil East India Company. Travel from sea to shining sea on your very own galleon, fighting uh, you're fighting against all kinds of creatures from mythology from uh, you from from sailing lore. Yes. We're talking krakens. We're talking sirens, mermaids, maybe even a giant squid or two. Who knows? We we could get we get we get absolutely historical. Make you fight a giant crab. Historically accurate, totally. Sign up sign up for the season pass, and you'll get and you'll get the uh, the free founding of uh, of the Caribbean DLC and probably some crap with Australia. Giant enemy crab. Historically accurate giant enemy crab. So a JRPG, I figure the whole JRPG element of it will be kind of the the building of the crew. Okay. Really. So different ports and yeah. stuff like that. Okay. Go to different ports, get get the different crew to come in. Kind of like a one piece kind of thing, but not as like. You know, not as one piece. Yeah, not as one piece. Okay. And more, you know, and then the, the fighting against the East India Company. I think if you're gonna, if you're gonna be a, a pirate. No matter what sea you're in, the East India Company has got to be your main villain. Not necessarily, but I get the idea. Unless you are the East India Company. In which case, everyone else is your enemy. Ooh, excuse me. All right, then. In, re- in which case, human decency is not your enemy. All right, so now for my turn. Now for your turn. First one is PC. Okay. All right, so a PC game. At least it's not Xbox One this time. All right, what have we got going here? Jesus Christ, the JRPG on the PC. R- yeah. Uh, licensed PC licensed JRPG. Licensed PC JRPG. All right. So, what franchise are you taking? Free DLC updates. Okay. Oh, all right. So, you know, what franchise is going to let you do that? Hmm. Well, to be fair, none of them for a licensed game, but we're we're playing in the fantasy realm here. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. I think I got something. What do you got? Let's see if it'll work. I don't know if it will, but let's see what we got. Let me know you're ready. Go ahead. Beginning timer. In three, two, one. Coming soon to Steam, an epic game store. We're going to be setting out on a fantasy world of adventure. Monsters, both human and non. And slimes. No, seriously. We are going... Into that time I was reincarnated as a slime, the licensed game for PC. We're going to be playing as Rimeru Tempest. You can also play around as any of the other characters that have shown up in their series, including everyone's favorite lizard ladies, oni ladies, and men, because, you know, ladies. Ninja oni. Am I right? Husbando. There is so much husbando. Not to mention kick ass dwarves. And we're going to go ahead and set off on an adventure through all the main storyline. And for the free DLC, we're going to bring around any added story that comes along later on. And in that free DLC, we'll have not only the Japanese voices, but the English voice seconds. pack as well. So please join me this summer for that time I was reincarnated as a slime, the JRPG. <laughs> There's plenty of characters to do that kind of turn- RPG. There is, there is. It's a good one, actually. Ha-ha! I want to be Shion. I'm bad with remembering all the names. That's why I do it the way I do. She's a super tall. Um, yeah, I know she own is, but yeah. like, I don't remember like, all the names. They're so many; they're hard to remember. I think I got actually. Cosplay what, do you remember the name of the dwarves? Wait, Rigard's egg goblin. Yeah. There's the short one. Gobby. That's a goblin. Yeah, that's, not a dwarf. that's what I'm talking about. That's the only thing I can remember is Gobby. Is Gobby real? 
Yeah. Those are good too. He's not a goblin. He's a dragon guy. Yeah, Gabir. Yeah, that's yeah. the brother. That's not. I'm talking about yeah. Gobby, goblin, big nose, yeah. pudgy belly. Didn't yeah, really he's change. He's awesome. Yeah. He got power instead of looks. Boy, did he. He's, he's a good goblin. So he's a good I'll dude. Back. Right. All right, so let's see what we got here. Two weird, one normal for me this so feels far. Weird. Ooh, Six. multi-platform again. Yay! All right, all right, all right. So all right, what are your right, platforms? Right. So this time we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna do the Nintendo Switch. Uh huh. And mobile. Okay. This is gonna go on the Switch and on your phone. I don't know why. Challenge accepted. Yes. What's the next one? D20. Yep. 17? Uh, 17. Strategy game. Perfect. Well, we'll see. The setting has been picked. Five. Cyberpunk or Steampunk? Your choice. Ooh. So, oh yeah. Strategy Steampunk game on the, on the Switch and on mobile. Uh-huh. Interesting. Now, how evil is my corporation going to be with this? How close to EA? No DLC. It's all you complete. Got is what you got. Your phone can't handle any more of this game. All right. All right. You do have phones, right? Maybe. <laughs> we, we can't guarantee that. Diablo Immortal, man. Yeah. yeah. That was like. Congratulations, you're Diablo Immortal. <laughs> Immortal, kind of. All righty. So here we go. On the Switch and mobile. Set in steampunk settings. A strategy game unlike any other. And there will be no DLC. So you can't fix your mistakes and add more stuff later. No season pass. No free DLC. No microtransactions. What do you got for us? Are we ready? Give me the timer. Alright. That's the timer. I got I... the I... <laughs> This has less porn on it, I'm sure. You can have your phone back. <laughs> anyway, you ready? All right. All right, ma'am. Give us your best of three, two, one, a go. Coming this fall to the Nintendo Switch and your cell phone. Because, yeah. A strategy game. <laughs> yes. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Set in a, in, in a, in a steampunk world where rival factions of engineers have, cr have, have created mass armies to fight each other. Recruit the, you recruit the best weird goggle guys with punchy like stringy legs and fight on airships and stuff to take over the world. 28 seconds. I have no idea what I'm doing, but this is all you get. Buy the game. <laughs> okay, so we're just stopping there. I got nothing. Like, <laughs> I don't know, steampunk and like cyberpunk's like, I know what the word means. It's like robot girl thing. I don't know. Not to say robot girl, but okay. I don't know. Uh, I was thinking... <laughs> Buy the game. Buy the game. Because it's all there is for your phone. iOS or Android. <laughs> I refuse to do anything for Apple or on their products that's going to have to be on Android just because... I dropped it. There it is. Go ahead. There'll going. be fan ah. service. I don't know. Alrighty. That was special. I'm terrible. <laughs> I can't do this game. I suck. Nah, it takes time. You've done, you've done good. You haven't had the weird shit. That was the closest to weird you had. And it wasn't even that weird. Yeah. Alright, let's see what I get. <laughs> Your phone. Rip phone. It's fine. I hardly knew you. Oh, I get my screen. PC. Phone. You murdered my phone. Uh, it is a first person shooter on the PC. <laughs> because that's a stretch. And it is a cyberpunk or steampunk setting. We're rolling a lot of the same things. We are. With no DLC. <laughs> wow, half of this is the same. You do more with... You do steampunk better than I do it. Oh, do I want cyberpunk or steampunk? That was my choice. Mm. And it was a PC and what did I say it was? A first person shooter. Yeah, so do you want like cog clock people or do you want like robot peoples? Half computer peoples. So do I want... Yep. Cyberpunk 2077 or Fallout or uh, uh, fuck. Bioshock? Bioshock Infinite. Infinite. Yeah. Which one do I want? I know things. Alright. Battle right. Rise I'm gonna get, I think. Alright. Beginning timer in 3, 2, 1. 
in a world set in the future where, where everything's gone to hell and is on a completely other planet. We have the Cyberpunk Revolution. You and one of your four forms of whatever character you want to play as fight the evil overlord and its cyber dictatorship, fighting off all of his brainwashed individuals that he has now subjugated. Will you be fighting your friends, your family, or your allies? Who has been hacked? Who is your friend? Who is a foe? You and any weapon you can construct, whether it be energy-based, bullet-based, or even hot molten slag, you are going to set the world free. Can you do it? Coming soon to Steam this fall. Gears. We don't have anything else. It's just Gears. I don't have a name. I got 12 seconds left. I got nothing else. There's no DLC. I just want to hear 10 more seconds of trailer voice. 2019. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was mostly there. <laughs> I have anything else like i'm not great with cyberpunk i know of it i've watched a bit Some of it me, with me and steampunk i know of it i know the aesthetic i don't know like, any specifics it's victorian era kind of thing oh well, think I... of uh breathe doctor who the first episode with peter capaldi that would have been steampunk Ooh, it's an xbox game for you on the xbox one oh first person shooter this would be interesting you're following my lead, except for the Xbox. Oh, uh, this one's Western. A, West, a Western first-person shooter for the for the Xbox One that isn't Red Dead Redemption with a season pass. All right. This, all right, Missy. A Western. It had to be a genre I know dick all about. <laughs> it's a Western. I hate cowboys. Tropes. It's Trope it up. Doesn't have to be serious. Alright. You got this. I got this. I believe in the writer. I got this. You got this. Oh, it's not licensed though. Nope. Damn it. Nope. You can't use existing shit. See, I can't you see you can't be John Wayne. Nope. You're following the guy's John Wayne. He's Is that not who I think that is? I know who you're thinking of Pilgrim. That's John Wayne, yes. Yeah. It could also be Ronald Reagan. He did a Western. But again, not a licensed game. This could be my chance to kill Reagan. In many horrible ways. Somebody movies. tried that. It didn't work in the 80s. It's because they didn't have me trying it. Again, though, we're not doing that. Not licensed. Western. I know. I've got it. You got it? All right, Faye. You got a minute. Can you convince me to buy an awesome Western game? Because I've only ever bought one. Can I convince myself to buy an awesome Western game? Well, you gotta convince yourself to actually like pitch one. Right. Can you, Damn it. Can you convince us that you would actually make one? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. Well, you're gonna have to try. Son of a... You got one minute. Are you ready? I'm ready. That is part of the contract of this channel. We do shit. We do shit. We're getting in the shit. In the shit. It is a Western. There's a lot of cow patties. And apparently horse balls. I mean, the way they talked about them in Red Dead Redemption 2. Jesus Christ. Really? Yeah, like, they, they were, like, photorealistic horse testicles. I could see it because they did, even in the, even in the multiplayer, you can go to, like, in GTA and see, like, dong. If you go to the altruist camps, they're running around bottomless. Oh, you works. can see old guy dong. Oh, that's great. Right, thank you. Mm. You want to see? No. I have a copy right there. No, I'm good. Anyway. Sure. Are you ready? We can go find it real quick. Three. It'd be great. Two. <laughs> I'm not stalling for time. One. Show us, cowgirl. Dick. Coming soon to the Xbox One. The tale of a man who's lost his everything. He lost his... Uh, Mustang? He lost his beer. He lost his dog. Now all he's got is a gun in a town he has to defend from bandit rustlers. Whatever it is cowboys do. And Native Americans but called racial slurs. It's not... It's just not a good genre. Pick up, you know, strap on your sidearm and whatever crap you manage to pick up from around the town to defend the town from mean people who are gonna come and, like, shoot people. It's, it sucks, dude. They shot, they shot your dog. You gotta get him. Oh, yeah. For the season pass, 
Um, Buffalo Bill shows up in some in some stuff and takes you on an adventure. Maybe rob a train. That sounds like a bad country song. <laughs> it killed, was. They killed your dog. They killed your dog. <laughs> my dog died. My truck don't work. The nuts fell off. Yep. You feel better now. I was, I was waiting for you to say strap on your six shooter. That's Revolver. what they call them. Yeah. I don't know cowboys. <laughs> She doesn't, she doesn't date country boys. Hell no. I don't, I don't date country girls. Mm -mm. Oh, God. If you can't engage me intellectually... <laughs> that, that's not fair. They're not all stupid. No, 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 no. You know, but, dingbats. But immediately, I don't, I don't go up to the whole, like... Well, that and... Not every Southern I'm, Belle's a dumbass. No, but I'm pretty left-leaning, so the whole, like, you know... There are liberal cowboys. I'm sure. Have you are. not seen Brokeback Mountain? They were very liberal with their I've penises. I've not seen Brokeback Mountain. There's a lot of gay sex. There are gay Republicans. Yeah. But they were very liberal with how gay they were. Whatever. I don't know. I'm not watching Brokeback Mountain. I'm just kind of going off. I don't really care about Westerns. The shit he gives me. The shit he gives me. I at least knew what a six-shooter was. <laughs> I don't like guns. I don't like cowboys. I don't care for Westerns. It's the dumbest shit. I like Trigun. All right, Trigun's good. Which is a part Western. It's a sci-fi Western. I like the sci-fi part, and the fash was fun. There's guns. Yeah, and there's cool sunglasses. <laughs> Love and peace. <laughs> I can't cross my fingers that way. Like I don't know if anyone can. I'm not that ambidextrous. And what? How's he do it? He like, twists it all the way around and shit. It's weird. But, but, fuck me, Xbox One again. Why can't I get a system I actually like and have? They're trying to convince you to like it. All right. Seventeen. It's right over there. I apologize. Ooh, a strategy game in the Xbox One. Set in. I've got my eye itches. Mm. Ooh, you know what that means? My choice. Roller's choice. So a strategy game on the Xbox One in whichever one of these you want to go with. Uh -huh. You know how to go with one we haven't done yet. No, I don't. I can go with whatever the fuck I want. Strategy game. Okay. License strategy game with a season pass. Okay. New scenarios. New unlockables. Weird idea. Something's in my mind right now. It's because I'm next to you. No, I have weird ideas all the time. Fair. <laughs> you've been with me how long? We've been friends for what? A decade? Yep. And you've had some pretty weird ideas? Yes, I have. This, for instance. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, do we not remember Titan? The war forged with the magic penis. I love that guy. I do too. He's fun. Is color dream pants? They are very colorful. They are fancy. I love I sold you the, the, the recoloring locker mod just so you can start changing the colors of your clothing. Like. I can start I, I can start making some Kung Pao jokes. Yes, this is great. Your clothes are red. I understand completely. Black. <laughs> you remember that scene, don't you? Your clothes are red. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you do love that movie. I do. I don't care what anyone thinks. I love Kung Pao. It's stupid, but one of my favorites because it's so stupid, and it's my kind of humor. Right. It's, yeah. it's pseudo Mel Brooks. Pseudo Mel. Brooks. It's very pseudo Mel Brooks. So do Mel Brooks. You can't argue. Yeah, I love Mel Brooks movies. Most of them, not all of them. Most of them. Off topic. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm having an idea. Don't hear yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this might actually be stupid enough to be fun. All right, so, so I'm going to do a licensed strategy game. A licensed strategy game? A licensed game. strategy game. Yes. The season pass for the Xbox One. I think I got something good. I'll let you control that. All right. So, All right, give me a minute here. The minute is yours. Sorry, no. Okay, you can stop. Uh, okay, this is gonna be stupid and malformed, but damn it, I think it's gonna be entertaining. My favorite kind of things, cool. stupid and malformed. Yes. That's why we're friends. Beginning timer in. You ready? Three, two, one. Introducing Space Balls, the strategy game. You could choose to play as the Spaceballs, evil dictators and corporate overlords. 
Or you can play as everyone's favorite hodgepodge crew. What were their names? Hang on. What were their names? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, God. The timer. Sorry. Lone Star. And that was close. It's actually Barf. No, Lone Star is the captain. No, no, I'm just, yeah. her name. I'm just playing with you. I know. Sorry. Go, 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 go. Sorry. Anyway, so Lone Star, Barf, Dot, and frankly, full sad that some of them aren't alive anymore. But it's okay, because there's always going to be a great season DLC as Spaceballs, the season pass, will be made available with Spaceballs, the search for more money, as the expanded Beyond the Beginning episodes. And it will include storylines from Spaceballs, the TV series. You will have returning guests of Rick Moranis, Bill Pullman, and I forget the rest of the actors, because some of them are dead, and the other ones I can never remember their name, and I'm terrible at this. But, time is up. It's coming to an Xbox One near you. See what I mean by I had a great stupid idea? The special edition comes with yogurt. I hate yogurt. Even with strawberries. There's, there's the joke. Well played, sir. Sp Spaceballs, the strategy game. <laughs> Spaceballs, the strategy game. The Search for more money DLC. I love it. That would actually be a really... I'd probably, I'd probably actually... <laughs> I'd consider buying it. I, would, the very I didn't explain what was in it because it's okay. We didn't get. We didn't know what space ball search matter. for the money has. Yeah. It never came. <laughs> I wish it would have. The TV series exists though. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, they did an animated TV series. Brought back some of the actors. Huh. Not Rick Moranis, sadly. Ah. Uh, like and obviously, him. you couldn't bring back, you know, I miss... John Candy because he was dead. Right. I genuinely miss Rick Moranis. I do too. I love Rick Moranis. He was such a fun. He actor. was. He did a lot I mean, of good. Good roles. singer. Oh. Holy shit. Never tell, never let anyone tell you that Rick Moranis can't sing and isn't fucking talented. He's comedically talented, yes. But damn, does he have a good singing voice if you've never seen Little Shop of Horrors. Oh my god. I, I'm i honestly jealous of the man. He has pipes. And you can always listen to his country music. I don't know why he went country, but hey. The guy's got a good voice. I can't complain. God damn. Alright, sir. Alright. Let's see if I get something different. This one is not an Xbox One. Cool! It's mobile! <laughs> it's not an Xbox One, at least. I at least play mobile games. I imagine we were gonna have mobile as like as like number one because like the worst role. Apparently, four has been the worst role. Party game on the mobile phone. Party game on your phone. Set in whatever the fuck I want, because it's a roller's choice. <laughs> and we'll have DLC. It will have free DLC updates. All right, all right, all right. A party game with free DLC on the phone. Set wherever the hell you want it. Yeah. So where the hell do you want it? That's hell. Hmm. Hmm. Party game. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's set it in hell. It was my choice. No, it was your suggestion. It's my choice to take it. <laughs> True. Yep. All right, let's set it in hell. Something different. Something interesting. We're we'll set it in hell. So a party game in hell for mobile games. Okay. Okay. I don't know what I got. I don't know what I got here. But let's try and see what I can do. See what I can do. Here. Beginning timer in three, two, one. Are you looking for a hell of a good time with you and your friends? Do no. you have a mobile phone? No. Well, we have the game for you. Come on down to hell and play some games with us. This multiplayer Fananza, and I mean that Fananza, because who else gonna have fun except where all the party animals are? Am I right? You and your friends get together, play some pitch games like Pitchfork the Baby, Punt the Center, Summer Beach Ball, because frankly that's kind of boring and it's already hot enough. That's if you're stuck in the sand on a hot day, it's like living in hell. So watch, come on in, play your mini games, take your phones like this, give them up, bam, spike the ball, just don't throw your phone, might cause you some trouble. The game is completely free to download DLC on, because there's going to be a lot of free DLC, new mini games, new characters to play as, you can play as any kind of character you want. Do you want to play a horn demon? Do you want to play an evil succubus? Do you want to play the devil himself? Or just kind of some weird doofus that kind of just didn't make the right choices. You can do any of these, and the game is only $5.99, that's right, $5.99 on iOS or Android. Join us this summer. Do I have to? Not a bad pitch. <laughs> it was stupid enough. <laughs> Fun stravaganza. You used the term "fun stravaganza." <coughs> what do you expect in hell? Good shit. Fair. Yeah. I'll give you my logic for dopey shit. <laughs> Fun stravaganza. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
just to let me just go off the top of my fucking head for me a minute. <laughs> the fact that it was anywhere near your head is concerning to me. What happened to you? I am a dad. Oh, dad yeah. jokes are a thing. It's like genetic. Mumble! Ooh, yeah. now it's time for me to do a cell phone game. There we go. Fifteen. That is a puzzle game again. Puzzle game on your phone. That's not right. Oh, your choice. You're rolling the exact same thing as me, Oma. <laughs> it's a premium pay-to-play premium, premium. Your choice. Game. A freemium puzzle. Wow, this is a stretch. Freemium puzzle wherever I want it to be. If at all. If anywhere. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a setting of any kind. You can just leave it completely just like we're not going the mechanics. To. I've got it. Give me the timer. Oh, you, you're good? Give me the timer. Oh, Give listen me to this. The goddamn timer. She's got the timer. The One minute. Hit the button. Hit. Now hit the button again because I just lost my train. No, cool. <laughs> we'll start it over though. Be fair. Ready? Because <laughs> that's why I'm pausing. Because she's going to giggle for like five minutes. <laughs> Here we go. Coming to a mobile device. Distressingly near you. A puzzle game. Set in the only place left for, pu for a puzzle game to be set. The Hungering Void. Waste away your life, your time, and all of your resources, matching three of alike black shapes on a black background. It's all come to an end, guys. And the worst part is, unless you pay for premium, you've only got 15 minutes before you have to pay again. The Hungering Void calls to us all. Four like voids in a row at a time. From King Games. <laughs> Void Saga. Uh. <laughs> you can buy black holes. Yes. Completely wipe the screen. <laughs> Just move in dark matter. <laughs> it's like, how much more black can it be? And the answer is none. None more black. What was that black? There was a black that was invented that was like the blackest black. And some like rich, artisty asshole bought the blackest black so no one else could use it and to do terrible art with it. And like everyone kind of hates the guy now. And I'm talking art world stuff. And I don't fucking know. Yo. R. Kelly? No, 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 it's not. It, it doesn't involve peeing on a minor. No, we're talking about buying shit and making you look like an asshole. Yeah, this is true. So it kind of goes in that. I don't know. He has money problems. Kind of makes sense. They do something stupid with his money. I don't know. I've not heard. That's a new one to me. Jesus Christ. Then someone came with, like, what was it, the pinkest pink or something? I don't know. So pink. Yeah, people keep coming up with stuff just to dick with the guy. <sighs> anyway, go ahead. And it's great. Ooh! Multi-platform. Yeah. Look at you. So we're going to pick which ones. All right. Everything but mobile. Ooh. PC, the Switch, Xbox, and PS4. PS4. All right. Everything but your damn Everything phone. that matters. Ooh, number five. That's a party game. What? What? Keep rolling. I don't care. Don't judge me. That's a prehistoric party game for everything. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Caveman party game. <laughs> With free DLC. Let's see what we get. This way, I will take my phone for the countdown. All right. I've got it. Give me the thing. Oh, you got it? Good. Get it, baby. All right, here's the thing. Start the thing. Coming soon to all home consoles and, and the uh, PC. The party game to end all party games. Caveman games. Get your, gather your favorite uh, friends around the fire in your cave. And try to entertain the crap of your dumbasses. Such game, such party games as uh, Wall Shadow Charades. See, see who's 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 Wall Puppet, who's Shadow Puppet, can evade the Killer T Rex. There's Stone Tossing, Stick Tossing, Bone Tossing, Club Your Mate. Our our our, our favorite Neanderthal Barbershop, Barbershop Quartet. Watch for that tenor. Is that a thing of it? Yes. And, and of course. It's 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 
And of course, competitive poo throwing. Who can launch their poo the farthest? You Find out this summer. You forgot your free DLC. And for the free DLC, go ahead. Sure, I know. We passed the time, but it's funny. Go ahead. <laughs> for the free DLC, we're going to bring in Aliens. Turns out it was an ancient aliens game the whole time. Join us now for Prometheus and Bob. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Oh, God damn it. You've you watched that before, right? No. You've never seen Prometheus and Bob? No. It was a skit on uh, Kablam, on Nickelodeon. I never saw Kablam. God, that's so sad for you. I'll show you in a bit. Uh, the fans watching, because you have to be fans to be watching this at this point. Prometheus and Bob, here's an image. I mean, come on. I'll show you for this mod real quick. We'll cut it out. I'm learning things, you guys. A few moments later. So yeah, that's the game. <laughs> uh, life was so fun, simple back in the day. <sighs> Another edition of this mod. My turn, right? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we got the caveman games. Caveman games. Caveman games. I keep doing your phone. Let's try it again. Without, like, your phone getting hit. The perfect noise. Cool. God damn it. Can I go back to the other one? I want to do Xbox again. Never mind. Nope. We'll do the Xbox. Nope. I'm going to keep nope. the roll. Nope. I got to nope. keep the roll. The integrity of the game we made up. Yep. Platformer. Cool. Xbox has, like, none of those. Eight. Pre industrial platformer. With a season pass. God damn it. Okay, okay. Alright. I think I might have something. Alright, you ready? <laughs> Begin. Nope, it's gonna be terrible. Beginning in three, two, one. Oi, Governor! Do you like chimney strips? I like chimney strips too, and that's why we have George the Chimney Sweep coming to the Xbox One later this year. And that was kind of a, kind of an Australian accent on that one, didn't mean to. <laughs> You're right. At any rate, <laughs> George the Chimney Sweep coming to the Xbox One straight from the live service is a digital only download platformer where you traverse the treetops and the chimney tops of London, Cardiff, and anywhere else in the, in the UK that isn't the Blacklands, because frankly, that's a lot of black lung. You're going to be down there, you're going to be chimney sweeping as you go. you got to clean out the chimney sweeps, get that money, and you got to use, your, use all that money to help pay for your housing, your food, which is frankly not going to be much. It's only like two pence. And an accent conversion. Shh. Soon there will also be a season pass where you can add in another two characters. We don't know their names yet. I mean, this is Xbox. They don't really give us much detail. Uh, but yeah, you can feel free to buy the season pass and add in the Black Country. I'm not even ashamed of my bad accent. <laughs> I, I'm sure James is going to love that one. <laughs> I can't do Cockney. <laughs> I had to do some pre industrial chimney sweep platform. It makes sense. Oi, Governor. Oi, Governor. <laughs> Oi, Governor. Dingo ate my teeth. <laughs> Now I've been, oh, you cunt! Well, where do you think Australians came from? The terrible chimney streets. Squeeze that sitting down there. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Tell the fellow chimney sweeps got sent to Australia. World history. Yeah, there this. you go. Fuck. <laughs> I have to go after that. I have to do a game after that one. I'm setting the bar low on this. <laughs> and I love you for it. <laughs> oh, my head hurts. That... <laughs> the look on your face was the best part, I think. <laughs> okay. All right. It's going to be a Switch game. Yay. <laughs> 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 It's a platformer. Oh my god! No. <laughs> and it is, uh, it's a fantasy. It's a fantasy setting. 
premium. <laughs> yeah, you're great at you're great at court. You're great at capitalism. It's weird. I know. It's weird. Oh, oh my God. Why is the socialist so good at capitalism? Oh. I hate it so much. In order to destroy it, I had to learn it from the inside out. You're taking the Russia stance. The that's, Russia how they, stance. that's how they fucked everyone over with Tetris. Have you actually ever watched the story of Tetris done by the gaming historian? No. It is a great hour watch. Really? I'm not it really that. is. It goes the whole history of the creation of Tetris up through like the really convoluted bullshit contract that kind of ended up causing a lot of problems. <laughs> that threatened like the home console rights. Oh yeah, there were like a million. Oh, there there was some fun it gets shit. Going weird. On. No, it, it's not that it gets Tetris weird. Is like... I love Tetris. Yeah, it's a great game. Tetris 99. I want to play 99. Yeah, I have to get a Switch first, but first I have to <gasps> prove to the IRS that I am who I say I am. Yeah. Who I am. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. My head hurts now. So, your freemium platformer set in a fantasy world for the Switch. I've got it. So, what's your Mario game? <laughs> sorry. Hit it. I hit it. I'm not doing a Mario game, but I'm going to bring back an old fan favorite. Oi, Governor 2, the chimney sweep. <laughs> this time with magic. Now he's been teleported way back into the, you know, in, into the old past of, of knights and, and sorcerers, and he's sweeping the chimneys <laughs> of wizards' chimneys? towers. They had chimneys? Sure they did. Okay. Absolutely. Sweeping, the, sweeping up those wizards' towers. Oi, Governor 2. However, this time around, because we need to make a profit off this crap, the other one tanked our company, frankly. It's a classic and you know it. <laughs> Loot boxes. Sometimes they're mimics, sure, but loot boxes. In order to power up your whole sweet thing. And to get more offensive, more offensive accents. <laughs> Johnny, why are you up there doing the swiping? <laughs> Supposed to be home with the kids! <laughs> I know you're looking down the chimney of the little cough down the street! Who kick your ass! I want to meet the whale that's keeping that game afloat. <laughs> Even better, no, brush, even better brushes. This one's a, this one's a wand. This one does fire damage. This one's a plunger. It doesn't make sense. It's anachronistic, but damn if it's not funny. You want a badger on a pole? You get a badger on a pole. Hey, badger. Sweep out that necromancer's keep, on the top of it or whatever you're doing. Oh this god, point. damn it. We have no idea. Uh, you're Australian sweeping chimneys in in Europe, and now there's magic and shit. Why not? Just do it. Why the fuck not? <laughs> God damn it! Xbox One, ladies and gentlemen. We have not seen this from this gentleman. <laughs> no. Let's see what he comes up with for a console he loves so dearly. A third person shooter on the Xbox One. We're, man, we're stretching the boundaries of the, of the real world here. That is set in a sci fi setting. Wow, Mass Effect. <laughs> You're making Mass Effect. More or less. With no DLC, I'm not making Mass Effect. You're making Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't an Xbox exclusive. The first Mass Effect was for a long time. But yeah. I just realized I have my Mac Myers laugh sometimes. It was good. It was good. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I wanted to get my donkey out of your swamp. Donkey! I don't know. I had a thing here. My brain hurts. <laughs> Is it from all the chimney sweeping? Make a, make a futuristic chimney sweep game. You gotta do all the alien cyber chimneys. Third person shooter, but it's a chimney sweeping game. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sci fi shooter. Okay. God, my head hurts. <sighs> All right. I think I got something stupid. All right. You ready? Nope. Not saying go ahead. I'm just saying, nope, I'm not ready. Okay. Just go ahead. Beginning timer in three, two, one. Four worlds at war, fighting over the same planet. The red army, the blue army, the green army, and the yellow army. They're really that unoriginal. You, picking one of the four sides, will go head-to-head -head in a battle royale setting. 
And it's only a side thing. We're not going to focus on the Battle Royale completely because, frankly, we don't have microtransactions, and that's kind of the bread and butter. But the point is still the same. Last man standing, free for all, team battles, we have it all. You can sit here and design your characters from head to toe in armor that is only available in-game with in-game currency. You do not have to pay for anything. You earn it as you play. And not only that, finishing levels gets you more outfits, gets you cool voices, including, Oi, Gavna, coming to you. No DLC needed. No cheeky bullshit. Just a straight third-person shooter with energy weapons, energy swords. And I know the swords shoot energy. It's weird, but we're doing it. You have five seconds. Oi, Gavna. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have anything else. <laughs> Guys, we have the worst running gag I think we've done. <laughs> All in game earned. <laughs> this is where they're trying to buy back people because they realize how bad a cash grab number two was. <laughs> yeah. Talk about my. They're never going to give us DLC for this piece of shit, so fuck. Oh my god, they're getting in there. <laughs> the only thing they can save us now is the Toxic Avenger. Every time he dies. Oh my god, nah. <laughs> Now with Mrs. Lloyd Governor. It's a PC game. <laughs> oh, my God, no. Okay, we're done. I'm done. Go ahead. No, no, I didn't hear that again. No, we're not here. No, let's her, go. Let's no, go. not her, actually. Go. My voice is a little shot at the moment. It's hard to get. Well, it didn't even roll. I'll no, let no, roll. no. We're going. Oh, no. <laughs> roll it. I really insist on that. <laughs> Six! Cool! It's a different sports game. This is going to be great. Fuck! <laughs> a PC sports game. Set in. Wherever four is. A licensed setting. Ooh, a licensed yeah. sports game. Okay. With the season pass. Get corporate. Get corporate. Get corporate. I don't have anything to mix. Don't throw him. Be nice. He could kill us. He can take it. He could kill us. You maybe. But he can engulf us. He can engulf the dragon. I'm sorry, you're not more powerful than the dragon. But you know. <laughs> so, A. I'm sorry, I had to burp. It was good. Sorry, yeah. PC, the sports game, set in a licensed setting of some type, so some kind of licensed game. What a season pass. What so, have I got? What's your license? That'll decide your season pass. Final Fantasy. A Final Fantasy sports game. I swear if you do Blitzball. Damn it. I got something better. Okay, good. I'll hoop Blitzball. I got something better. All right. Something so we Final all Fantasy remember, sports game. Something we all love. PC. And our absolute favorite aspect of this cherished, for some of us, childhood game. I know what it is, don't I? I hope you do. I probably do. I really hope you do. It's from Final Fantasy IX, isn't it? No. Oh, it's not? Is it eight? No. Oh, then it might be different. We're then. going to Final Fantasy VII. Ah, uh, yeah. I was choosing not to think that one. Hit it. Coming soon to us at PC. Yep. Whatever console it was, I rolled PC. <laughs> We're going back to Final Fantasy Nine or Nine Seven. <laughs> nine. <laughs> right, don't argue with me. <laughs> Go ahead, Seven. It's the Final Fantasy VII remake we've all been wanting. We're going we're gonna to take the one aspect of that game everyone's been clamoring for, the one thing everyone absolutely loved. Moguls. Chocobo Racing. Damn it. Go out of the wild, find and tame your chocobo, breed those chocobos up, and then bring and then bring them to the to the chocobo racing track in what was that? Gold saucer? Don't ask yeah, me. Yeah, gold saucer. I think I remember that shit. I don't know. Either way, breed up the covered gold cho golden chocobo and race them. Place bets on them. Do your thing. For the season pass, we're gonna add we're, we're gonna add in. What me? Moogle racing. Whatever the heck it was, red uh, you know red was those things can race. And you know what? Screw it. Throw in, uh, you know, throw in the Turks. Train your Turk. Let him run. No choco polo. Choco polo. Birds and balls. Birds and balls. Birds and balls. I really thought you were gonna go with uh, God, try whatever it was. Try. Oh, triple triad. Yeah, I think we do like I a triple triad. I actually really liked that game. Yeah. Yeah. So you know a lot of people didn't like the card games. From I like don't care about eight any and nine. Of them. I I like. Them. I've never played through seven. I've never owned it. This video. I've over. watched it be played, but I've never played it myself. Really? Yeah. It's not bad, but it, I I feel like it's I've overhyped. I've owned nine. I don't own nine now, but I owned nine at one point. All right. I've owned four. 
I own four, a couple versions of four, including the really superior DS version, which I really highly recommend if you can find it. Uh, I own six, but I haven't finished it mm. by any means. Uh, Twelve Zodiac Age. I own the original version, but I have the newer version now. I got rid of twelve back when I was. I Zodiac versions. Age. Just, I've been yeah. playing the crap out of it. Uh, I've never owned thirteen because I'm not a dumbass. I bought it because I love Final Fantasy. So I borrowed much. it from a friend. I never. I never oh bought. my god, that game hurt me. I played a little fourteen. Like the story and everything was fine. It's just no, it wasn't. All right. Terrible. I could have handled the story if the systems didn't piss me off so much. I could have handled the story if it actually made fucking sense. You didn't do a lot. The of sea of the foul sea. Which one's the good guys? Which one's the bad guys? Does it make fucking sense? No, it doesn't make fucking sense. We're gonna we're gonna give you vague fucking visions to go do something, or you're gonna turn to crystals or monsters. If you get it right, you turn into a crystal. If you get it wrong, you turn into a monster. But we're going to do just vague fucking shit. Yeah, figure it out. The, Story. The sequel had Pokemon in it. And Not time quite, travel. Yeah. And then the third one, because lightning. Final Fantasy meets Doctor Who meets Pokemon. Nah, it's more like Quantum Leap. Oh. And not even a good Quantum Leap. There is a bad Quantum Leap? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not good Quantum Leap. Hmm. It's bad Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap is it's fun and campy. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, I'm not going to on. Time for it. You know, 15 was fun. I haven't played all of it. Time for a terrible confession. My favorite Final Fantasy? Eight. Don't at me. Four. It's a good love story. I enjoy it. Plus, like... Well, which one was it? Eight? Final Fantasy Eight, yeah. Eh. I, I enjoyed I've seen better. I enjoyed it. Four. I liked the junction system. I liked playing around with it and, like, getting things... To, yeah, it was... I had fun with it. I will admit, though, I, I think as, as far Chicken as... Chicken wuss. I will admit, though, as far as, like, gameplay goes, 9 had a really good system, so I enjoyed the, the What was the name of the blonde doofus? Cypher. No, the blonde doofus. Zell. Thank you, Zell the dumbass. Yeah, because that was fun. Yeah, Cypher was just basically a guy reaching puberty, not willing to admit that, that he hadn't reached puberty yet because he had the biggest hard-on for the sorceress. He wanted a white knight for her. Hi, Mimo. Oh, Squall, he had more depth than that. <laughs> he did. Oh, you're serious. I'm sorry. I'll laugh harder. <laughs> There's your Futurama joke. I feel like you're better at this than I am. I just come up with stupid shit. Holy shit! It's not an Xbox One! It's mobile. Oh, you fell. 17, which is strategy from the mobile. I feel like we had that. 10. Uh... Post-apocalyptic strategy game. Fallout Mobile. Thank you. That's kind of where I was going to go, actually. No, you can't. Cause well, I no, I can. <laughs> I can definitely go there. It's freemium. <laughs> Holy shit. So it's uh, Fallout oh. Shelter. Oh, go ahead. Go. Did you play Fallout 76? Well, we're sorry. So in return, we're going to let you have a sequel slash add-on to Fallout <laughs> Shelter, and that is Fallout Tactics. You can go into the wastelands with your team to find new places to set up camp, build, destroy, expand, other things, because that's how strategy games go nowadays. They're kind of 4X, but not really, because this is a mobile game, and it's free. But don't worry, the stuff inside sure as hell isn't. We need to subsidize ourselves after we fucked up with Fallout 76. So we're going to go ahead and give you not only loot boxes, not only we have to buy more ammo once you run out and need some extra awesome shit, but you have unfree consumers. That's right, it's unfree because you're not paying for it even when you don't want to. It will be full of glitches. We'll eventually figure it out maybe if we don't make it worse first. We don't know, but that's part of the fun with our free, with our freemium model because you can actually pay for better updates. You get the shit ones otherwise. Coming to iOS and mobile. What is unfree? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Doesn't... What is unfree? I don't know what the fuck's Fallout 76. What was that in your head when you said it? What they don't know unfree? what the fuck a multiplayer game is. I don't want. I don't think I need to know what fucking free means. It isn't free, now do I? It's Bethesda logic is what the fuck it is. I'm gl See, I was one of the smart people that saw Fallout 76 as a problem. That would hurt my brain. <laughs> Unfree. Fun. <laughs> Fun extravaganza. Fun extravaganza. <laughs> Wake unfree. up, Nuh. Unfree. Un <laughs> <laughs> it's post-apocalyptic. It's post-capitalism, so it's unfree. 
No, you don't. You're having too much fun with this. I broke her brain. It's not that I'm better at you than this. I'm just dumber, so it makes it more fun when I say stupid shit. That's the difference. You're smarter than me. I'm the dumb one of the two of us. I have this weird and dumb shit. <sighs> and you're the satire writer. <laughs> That's what makes it funnier. You're a PC. I'm a computer. <laughs> Stop all the damn. You're the master God, race. Damn it. Puzzle <laughs> I'll let you reroll. I'll be fair. Let's You've do done it. puzzle games a couple times now. Okay, ten. It's a uh, platformer. A platformer on the PC. Mm. Oh shit. Um, I don't know where that went. I can't see it. Can you get it for I me? don't know. I, yep, it will be Although that would have had it in a licensed setting. Oh, well. Instead, it'll be in a medieval setting. Ooh. What are we doing now? Medieval platformer for the PC. Shovel Knight? Technically? <laughs> Sorry, I hit the table. <laughs> Premium! <laughs> That's definitely a PC game. All that free. Well, it can be pay to play. Subscription. True, true. A subscription platformer. Maple Story? Maybe. I didn't play it. Maple Story. Oh, there you go. I'll give you a minute. <laughs> I don't care how many how much time we get in this. We got down just the best ones. There's some good There's shit. There's some good shit in here. Both uh, the void. The yeah, the, the void. void got me a bit. The void. God damn it. <laughs> Started the kind of like we're gonna see how what kind of cool stuff come up. Then it's just turned into like what kind of fucking stupid shit can we do? All right, so it's a pla it's a medieval platformer. Medieval platformer on the PC that is either freemium or pay to play. I've got it. You Hang got it? it. Bam, go for it. All right, coming to PC is a platforming game about peasantry because that's what we've been reduced to in these days. So just like in these days, your job is to get away with doing as little as possible without getting yourself destroyed by the tax man. Set in the same universe as Robin Hood, your job is, your, your job is a peasant running through the forest, jumping over pits and logs and trees, trying to get to Robin Hood and his men to get away from the Sheriff of Nottingham. So it's Pitfall. Pitfall reskinned with Robin Hood. It's a freemium game. So for DLC, you can actually play as Little John. Maybe even the Big R himself. Maid Marian, whoever the fat lady was, and like the 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 um the German lady from like the, the Mel Brooks one, yeah yeah her her you be her, but you got to pay for that shit. This ain't free. No, this is free. Capitalism. This, this ain't socialism. You get no ponies here. <laughs> toes a toe and a rose a row. If we don't get no toes, then we don't get no rose. I can't swim around. I love that movie. It's hysterical. I do too. I love it. I am a sneeze, father of Achu. Achu like, no, Achu is my son. Kids Achoo? love that movie. Here? Achu, here! <laughs> oh, you lost your arms in battle. You grew some nice tits. Yeah. Here's some nice boobs. What's that one? Nice boobs. boobs. Nice boobs. Hey, Blinken. Did you say I Blinken? No, I said hey, hey. Blinken. Hold the whole. Dave Hold the reins, man. Yeah. Your back just got punched. Oh, multi-platform. It's my choice. Guess what? Not getting fucking picked. It's going to be a Switch and PS4. We're going straight Japan only development, motherfuckers. Because fuck the Xbox One today. I've got it enough. And I didn't realize how much you hated the Xbox One until I hate being forced on it. Oh my... You, well, no, I mean... A JRPG. Okay. Okay. I might have something good depending on what my fucking setting if it's my choice. I don't know. Uh, Western. Oh, I can't. Mm. 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 Maybe. I don't know if that would fit. That's okay. Two. No DLC. Okay. okay. So it is what it is. When the, when the okay. story is done, the story is done, sir. It is a JRPG on the Switch of PS4 uh -huh. for the Western setting. It's actually kind of fun. Okay. 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 Alright, I think I might have something. Stupid, but it'll maybe work. Do it at me. Alrighty. Ready when you are. Three, two, one. Aha! 
Howdy, partner. I missed it. You missed it. Try it again. I don't hear more of this voice. Go ahead. It's going, it's going, it's going. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the land in the West that time forgot. Filled with mummies, creatures of the darkest kind, and magic. Join us in this nice ragtag crew of cowboys, machines of the most steampunk variety, and those with the creepiest of magic as we take on an evil dictator in the next country over as he tries to overtake the world. Sand, cacti, and polecats are all here. Join us as we cast magic spells, shoot our six shooters, and go on a rampage. Yeehaw! Let's take this to the next level. I have nothing else to add to this lovely turn-based RPG coming to you fall 2020. Keep saying things about X on the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch by X Seed. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know what that accent was. Was that, was that the last Louisiana cowboy? Nah, no, no, no. That's kind of like kind of pseudo Texan. It was like like Oklahoma Texan. It was like Elvis trying to be a cowboy. Uh, what's his name from fucking? Uh, uh, I don't know. I've never seen fucking. No. <laughs> yeah, you have. I've heard. I've heard from you. I've seen fucking naked. I've played. <laughs> you played fucking. I get the high score. I give up with you. I don't. Anyway, what was I say? Oh yeah, uh, you ever seen uh, Big Lebowski? No. God damn it. Uh, what's his name? I can never remember his name. Dude. They know who I'm talking about. I guarantee you they know who I'm talking about. Here, hang on. Ah, Sam Elliott. Who the hell is that guy? You've never... Sam Elliott's in a bunch of, like, random shit. You've never seen Sam Elliott? Maybe. Okay. I don't know. He looks like... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he's like... He's the guy that talks where his mustache gets in the way most of the time. He's like generic old guy. He was in the Hulk. I didn't uh, see the Hulk. The first one. I didn't he, see okay, the Hulk. Okay, did you ever see Ghost Rider? No. You never saw Nicolas Cage in Ghost Rider? No. Why? It's so stupidly fun. I don't... Right. PlayStation 4 game. PlayStation okay. 4 game. You're turning into the Xbox One. I know, right? Yeah. The thing is, I don't hate that console. Yeah. Seven. Ooh! Visual, visual novel. novel again. Ooh. Something we haven't seen much. One! Modern day visual novel All right. for the PS4. Okay. With free, else, free updates. Cool. All right. All right. So. Give it to me. I hate you. X, gonna give it to you. X did give it to me. Wait, who's X? Doesn't matter. Coming soon to the PS4. Find out for sure if X, in fact, did give it to me. It's a visual novelization of my life. You're going to have to deal with an abusive father, years of crippling depression and not knowing who or what the fuck you are, trying to hide your femininity from the world for 30 years. And then finally, in a confusing crescendo, being kidnapped, run over by cars, shot, stabbed, and then changing genders. It's a phase story. Coming to the deal or coming to the PlayStation <laughs> Two for <laughs> soon. What's the free DLC? The free DLC is a search for the cure for my apparent um what's it called? I don't know. Um that thing we can't remember things. <laughs> amnesia. Dementia. Amnesia. And amnesia. <laughs> so I remember that I am a woman who used to be a guy who is now a woman. Again. <laughs> for real this time though. The story of Faye. Coming soon. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The best part is it's, it, it ends, it's going to end in like a harem anime thing where it's like a bunch of suitors and stuff and it becomes a dating sim. Like, oh, who's going to woo me? It's, could, it could be a girl or a guy because I'm pan. It could even be an alien because, you know, I can be into it. I'm not going to tell you how much of this is actually true. Figure that out for yourself. Because here's the funny part. The parts you I think. know what parts of that is true. <laughs> that would be the fun And here's the, fu here's the funniest the part. I made up. Oh, wait, here's the funniest part. You're not going to believe which parts of that were true, even when you know they are. I've been told I have to write a novel, you know, like, like an autobiography, oh. and tell the actual story of my life. God. It's going to be great. God damn. It's going to be great. God damn. I'm going to eventually do it. God damn. Becoming fame. Only, I'll tell you one part's not true: the amnesia and dementia. Yeah. Yeah. She I don't have either. 
PlayStation 4, okay, cool. Wow. 18! Like it's an RPG! I feel like my life would make a really good visual novel. Weird movie. Yeah, it would be strange. A Western shit, RPG. Great. For the PS4. Uh, no DLC, you son of a bitch. I want you to make a premium. Fuck three is a foot. Fuck it. I rolled. <laughs> Season pass. For fun. For funsies. Still Season pass. pass. Cool, but mine's not. This is DLC. None. None DLC. Go ahead. All right. Three, two, two, three. Do you like Red Dead Redemption? No. Do you like Red Dead Redemption 2? I haven't played it. Well, how about Red Dead Revolver? Let's go with the original game and get that a sequel. Holy crap, it was the original. Yes, it was. Welcome to Red Dead Revolver 2. Even more Revolver. <laughs> I don't know shit about the game, but we're going to sell you a sequel anyway. Because, frankly, I don't know how the timeline works. If it's before, after, or what. I don't know. I never played any of them, but The point actually. is, people have been asking for a sequel, and damn it, we're giving it to you. And it won't have anything to do with Red Dead Redemption. It's a smaller story. A little more focused. But level up your character, your stats, become the fastest gunslinger in the West, I guess. I don't know the story. The hand Take down the bandits that have screwed over your family. That apparently happens every generation. I swear your family's cursed. Wait, There's, wasn't he really I don't know. Pitch the game. Yep. There will be no DLC. So for free, after you've beaten the game, you get a zombie mode. Because everything has to have a Western zombie mode. Yeehaw, motherfuckers. Brains. Yeah. Wait, wasn't he the bandit? Like, wasn't he supposed to be turning in, his life around? That was one and two. Because I thought the entire yeah, idea in the was original, like... In Red Dead Revolver, yes. In, I mean, Red Dead Redemption, yes. Red Dead Revolver, I don't fucking know. I don't know either. Not a clue. I never played. Go ahead, roll. At least there's something I could just throw out. <laughs> Six! Multi! Woo! Multi. Mm. You do Dallas multi-pass. 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 Multipass. Multi. Multiban. We call it multiban. We call it multiban. 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 What are we doing? Be plain. Be plain, boss. Be plain. Seventeen. Ooh. What is that? It's a strategy game. For which systems? Oh. For the PC and the Switch. Cool. Because that's a weird mix. I like it. Civilization Six. Oh shit. Yeah, actually, it's on, it's on that. Damn yeah. it. That's no, okay. So go ahead. How is it on? I don't know. I haven't played it. It's Twelve. Pick your choice, either random or roll it. Ooh, okay, so a strategy game on the PC from wherever the hell I want it to be, but it's on the Switch. Wherever and whenever, but on the Switch and PC. Okay, what would be fun to do? What have we not really seen much of? Anything. You know what? We haven't done enough alternate history. Go for it. It's so an alternate history strategy game mm -hmm. on the Switch and PC. Mm -hmm. And roadmap? The roadmap is... Free DLC. Free DLC. Look at you. Ooh. Being all altruistic. I know. I know. It's weird. Yeah. My company's going under. My it's game not ideas for access, suck. That's for sure. For they charge. Yeah. Oh my god. I've seen some of the ones for some of this game. It was like, here's all the DLC. This pack is uh, this pack is a dollar. Like, oh, okay, that's reasonable. Yeah, but there's like 32 different packs, and some of them are ten dollars, and some of them you have to have your game. I was like, oh, no, just give me more. There are a few in there where it's like $100 for like all the... Yeah, that's still not... That are like six bad. You have to show me... $90 plus dollars. For a fighting game. Fighting game. Fighting game. Mostly costumes. Because titties. Balls on those devs. No, the they publisher. don't do the balls in this game. That's Red Dead Redemption. Do you think if we lobbied them hard enough we'd get the boob juggle physics but no. on testicles? Like They did it on the horses. Just horse cock and ball. Right there. An excruciatingly realistic detail. <laughs> it was an important detail, damn it. I wonder who the rock star dev Horsticles. was. Horsticles. I wonder who the rock star dev was. I had to take pictures for reference of horse scrotum. I had to stare at it for hours. The art team did to make that work that had to have been and someone the physics. staring. Oh god, I wonder if they pulse. Oh god. Oh. Ugh. You tell Ooh. I don't play Red Dead Redemption Two. You tell me. I don't. I don't know. Go ahead. Anyway, sorry. You got free DLC for your someone spent a lot strategy of alternate history for the Switch and PC. Let me know when you're ready. 
All right, so. I need to contemplate my life after that one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Pit pets make me feel better. Uh, feel better yet? It doesn't chase away the horse testicles. Honey, no, they will chase away the horse testicles. Oh, no! You're going to have to live with the horse testicles. I don't want to. It's going to be okay. No. It's going to be okay. What's your game? <laughs> this is too much fun consoling you. It's not consoling me. What's the game? I'm in a never-ending hell of testicles. It's like a bad bukkake. Never-ending hell of testicles. Oh my god, it is my, the story of my life. It's that game all over again. Um, so. <laughs> Nothing on that one. Go ahead. Who am I to say? So an alternate history. Alternate history. Strategy game. Uh-huh. For the Switch and the PC. Will so, there be Nazis? No, there won't be Nazis. Okay, so we're not going that easy route. <laughs> no, no, no. I like... I we, we're, we already did Godwin's Law way early. We went straight to Nazis. Straight to Nazis. Now, I'm bringing it back a bit. Cool. Hit the thing. Bam. Got it that time. The fall of Rome never happened. The Caesars never went crazy. People weren't eating and drinking out of lead-lined dishes and going absolutely berserk. So the Roman Empire never fell. In fact, it kept expanding. It kept getting greater and bigger and bigger and bigger. But how can Rome, a growing Rome, survive in the modern world? How will Rome fare in the age of siege warfare or in the, in the uh, nuclear era? You get to find out. You get to decide. In this timeline spanning strategy game, you will take the Roman Empire from its very birth, the good old Romulus and Remus days, built overnight. Everyone knows Rome was built in a day, right? That's how it worked, isn't it? And bring it all the way into the space race. Can you, Caesar, build the perfect Rome? For DLC, for DLC, we're bringing in the Trojans. The Carthans and the gods. Everyone loves gods. Caesar the day. Caesar that day. Et tu, Brute? You have no jokes about the Romans? I did my Brute joke. Oh, what was it? I'm a Julius Caesar. Et tu, Brute? So, how are you dealing with the horse, horse testicles over here? There's chariots this time. Four times the horse testicle. The jiggle more. The physics are unreal. I will make sure the horse testicles. Get the jizz, jiggle. Jiggle. <laughs> we'll make sure the horse, the horse tech looks good. Just a good job. Thank you. <laughs> they deserve the jiggle physics. The Gatling guns. Ew. <laughs> yeah, woke him up. Ew. Ew. Sharp shoot. Ew. I'm five. I swear. I'm not 32 years old. No, I'm like five years old. Of course. Yep. <laughs> no so, shame. So, all right, question for you that was posed to me on Twitter. What? I want to pose a question to you that was posed to me on Twitter. Okay. Where were you when you first learned that ducks have a corkscrew uh, penis? Uh, I was in my room watching green porn. Green porn? YouTube channel. Oh. A woman that talks about uh, different aspects of uh, animal reproduction and dresses up as the animals. So I learned about how big a whale penis is. How do you even find these things? Random, because uh, praying mantis thing. Uh, here we go. Praying mantis has got you to a woman dressed in animal suits, talking about how animals. <laughs> oh, hey, there's the duck. We'll cut this. We'll cut to it afterwards. One eternity later. Now, mind you, there was the green porn channel, and then there was Seduce Me. There's two things. <laughs> Woo! That's the best part. That was the one she ever did. Hello. How did you... Why? <laughs> How did you even find that? Why? Rabbit hole. Snakes, no, I don't want to see that video. Spiders. I don't want to see... Seahorse. Salmon. It's Noah's Ark from Green Pornos. 
Uh, yeah. Dolphins. Oh, God, that's rapey. Deer. Cuttlefish. Bedbugs. You gotta give her credit, man. Hey, there she... it is. Green porno. You gotta give her credit. Dragonfly. Though. She Earthworm. really goes for it. Starfish. Snails. I think... Sex to die for. Praying mantis. Yeah, ripping off the head. The Sundance TV, by the way, folks. If you were interested in what we were just watching and oh what traumatized God. poor Faye. I don't want to keep playing this game anymore. No, no, no. See, this has nothing to do with copulation. Or weird... Weird things on the internet. I'm afraid of your phone now. I've seen your search history, just a little bit of it. It's just like... Ah, shit. That reaction, it's on camera. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to be the one editing this? Because <laughs> that will stay. <laughs> no, you're editing it. All right. You have to send the file. Go. Oh, my God. I will send the file. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. So, should we make this our last one? Yes, make this our last one. One more for me, one more for I'm, you. Yeah, well, I'm hungry, so, yeah. It's only at the I one time PC? today. It's like at 5 o'clock. You ate. Yeah, it was, it was one time ate, though. A 20! We get a double roll! First time! Holy shit! That was way overreaction to we'll whatever do it. 15, which is? A puzzle game! Woo. I haven't had one of those yet. A puzzle and f fighting puzzle game for the PC. Holy shit. Interesting. How is this gonna work? Don't tell. Licensed! Yes. With free DLC! Hit us with it. You hit us with your magnum opus, this puzzle fighting game from a dev that already exists. Let me know when you're ready for this one. Cause I... Oh, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Going ahead. In three, two... Did you really have to make me watch that? <laughs> yep. I, I can't hit the button anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to trick you. It doesn't have different cavities. <laughs> Stop the mouth. <laughs> Just combobulated your phallus? <laughs> Her poker can't poke straight. All right. Do you like do... Did you like Capcom Puzzle Fighter? Well, now Capcom Puzzle Fighter Two is coming to the Steam Shop. That's right. You can play as your favorite Capcom characters, mainly Street Fighter characters. Ryu, Ken, the one with the thighs. Yes, I know her name's Chun Li. I'm just trying to be funny. But it's Street Fighter Two, a match puzzle game, and you can survive. Build up your points. Kick ass, take names, and for the free DLC that comes along, a lot of Capcom classic characters such as Mega Man <laughs> and it's about all they got at this point. It's Capcom. Mostly well, known for playing Street Fighter and well, okay. Uh, how about uh, Dante? He's big right now. He's back in DMC Five. So why not make him part of Puzzle Fighter Two? Coming to the PC. It'll be in middle, multiple iterations, too. It'll just never go away. Super Street Fighter 2, Puzzle Fighter 2. Puzzle Fighter 2, Putter, Puzzle Fighter Putter, 2. Putter, Putter, Putter. Putter, Putter Fire, Fire 2. <laughs> now I'm just thinking like a bunch of fucking like Tiger Woods and other edition. fucking golfers. <laughs> Fire really fucked her up on that video. Putter oh. Fighter. I want to make this game now. Let's make Putter Fighter. <laughs> what's, pu what's Putter Fighter coming to? It's gonna. What's it gonna be? Oh, multi it's on every more. system that exists, <laughs> right, and some ones that used to exist. We're backwards porting All this right. bitch. Multi platform. Which ones you picking? It's gonna be a strategy game, Putter Fighter. A strategy game for which systems? Every system. All the systems. Eleven. And it's set. In, and it's a western. <laughs> <laughs> it's a freemium. <laughs> Strategy. Strategy. Western. Western game. Hit the thing. It's Putter Fighter. What? How's that work? It wasn't golf. Do it. It wasn't golf. Do it. They're not Scottish. Do it. No. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I can't count. Not the powder. I do it. I can't do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yes. Putter Fighter. <laughs> Whatsoever. It's on every. You could get it for anything. Your phone will run it. We didn't even try it with this game. It's Putter Fighter. 
I don't remember the genre anymore. I think it was a strategy game yes. set in the Western. Yes. It's a bunch of cowboys with butters running at each other. Guns have been banned, so now you got to find the guys who can swing the butters the best. Is it going to be the guy with the tragic backstory? Is it going to be the bandit with a heart of gold? Is Wait, what was that? The, the, the whore with a heart of gold? Her! Give her nine iron. Let her go crazy. It'll be great. She's got some stuff to work out by now, I'm sure. Putter fighter. Select your people from around town and beat the crap out of the people from not around town. Or some Native Americans. It's a Western. I don't know what else they did. Manifest Destiny is some shit over here. So what's the DLC? For the your DLC? Free, miss, miss Microtransaction? Um, guest stars. Jack Nicholson. Tiger Woods. Um, and everyone's favorite. Oi, governor. Oi, governor! Putter fighter. In the wild. We're taking the Wild West back. One par at a time. I broke you, didn't I? <laughs> I, <wanna go. laughs> I, I, I broke Faye. No more. <laughs> Video's over. I'm killing it. It's done. No more. Thanks for joining us for this Everybody. very first edition. Hopefully we'll have another of Dev Roulette. Uh, you have not seen everything that we did for this video. Just the funniest stuff and sometimes the dumbest stuff. Get and, the hell out of my bedroom. And Faye's breakdown. Oh, okay. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I guess hit the bell. Send love and affection. She needs it. You can follow her on Twitter at, uh, what is it? Uh, Sylvia, Sylvia Branham. Branham. Okay. Branham. Branham. I just say Branham. B-R- a and <laughs> how do I spell my name? <laughs> I don't know. It's got a corkscrew penis in it. <laughs> Save me, Reaper. You can follow me at Xandros on Twitter. They're in the description down below. Check out uh, the Fae Plays series. I don't know when the next time will be on screen. So, until next time, I'm Xandros. She's Fae. She's horribly tortured. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.